Hey, what's going on guys? It's Turek YT here, or Nick back with another brand new video, guys. Today, I wanted to do a tutorial on how to download and install Minecraft World Edit for pretty much 1.14 and above, but we're gonna specifically install for Minecraft 1.16 today. So we're going to start off by being over on our desktop. Before we even jump into downloading anything or jumping into Minecraft, what we actually need to do is open up Minecraft 1.16.1 or the latest version of 1.16. The reason for this is to be able to install these mods, you need to actually run the version first so that way the modded version knows which one to more or less bind with. So what we need to do is we literally just need to start it up and then all we have to do after that is we can just exit out. You don't have to go into a world, you don't have to do anything. So so I'm just going to let this load up like so and then I am just going to go ahead and exit out of it. So now that you have loaded that up, we are going to have to download three different things. So the first thing we're going to need is we're actually going to need fabric. There is now basically the new forge is how I'm thinking about it is Minecraft fabric. It's basically a new mod loader or a mod installer. I don't know why it went from forge to fabric. I don't think it's made by the same people, but fabric is probably the way to go from now on because a lot of the mods that are being released are being released for fabric and I think it just runs better in the newer versions of Minecraft. So this will be the first link down in the description. You can either choose the universal installer or the Windows installer. If you're on a Windows device, I would strongly suggest downloading the Windows version. Now I do not have a Mac or I don't have an Apple product, so I'm not 100% sure if this works for that specifically. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to go download the Windows installer and you'll see it downloads right here. What I would suggest doing is taking that file and just dragging it to your desktop desktop. Next things that we need to download is the Fabric API. This is basically a mod that goes with Fabric. So Fabric is more or less the loader and the Fabric API is what allows all of those mods to communicate with the Fabric. So not every single mod needs the Fabric API, but I would suggest just downloading it and having it because most of the mods that you're going to download for Fabric are going to need the API. So what we're going to do is you should start on this page right here. Just click the files right here and then you're going to want to scroll down. You're going to want to find your version. Now, the version that I am playing on is Minecraft 1.16. So you're going to see in brackets right here, 1.16. I would honestly go ahead and download the latest version. So I'm just going to click on this guy right here. And then I'm just going to click the download button in the top right. It's going to say your download will begin in three seconds. And if it doesn't, you can automatically kick it here. So mine downloads. It's going to say that this is a potential harmful file for your computer. I just hit keep. The reason why it's saying that is because it is a jar file, which is an executable file which unfortunately is also the same file that viruses are in. But this has been downloaded well over 3 million times, as you can see right here. So if you're worried about it, run it through, I guess, a virus detection software. But I have no worries about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that same file right here to my desktop. And lastly, we are going to need to actually download World Edit. So I'm going to leave this link also down in the description. You're going to do the same thing. Come over to your files tab right here and then scroll down. And right now, there's only a beta version out when you're watching this. It may be a full version. So basically what you're looking for is where it says 4MC.116. So this one up here, not 112. You want to make sure they're all the same files. And what I mean by the same files is you want to make sure that it says fabric for MC116. And you also want to make sure it says 1.16.1, not 1.15 or 1.16.2. They've all got to be the same version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. And then I am going to go ahead and hit the download button as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit the keep button and I'm also going to go ahead and drag that file over onto my desktop to be joined with the other ones. So the first things first is you're going to want to grab your fabric installer. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that bad boy. And then this screen should show up and you want to make sure that you are choosing the 1.16.1. And then all you're going to do is hit install and make sure it says create a profile and it should literally take you two seconds and then it'll say done right here and then you can go ahead and click out of that. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come open a file explorer. You're going to want to type in percent app data percent. This is going to bring up your dot Minecraft folder. And then in this folder, you potentially, if you've ever ran forge or anything in the past, actually, because you just ran a fabric installer, it should populate a mods folder in here. If for some reason there is not one in here, just come up here, click new folder and then name it mods. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the mods folder and I'm going to go ahead and take this fabric API right here 
here, drag it in here, grab this world edit and drag it in here as well. And then that's literally the installation of Minecraft world edit for 1.16. So to prove that this works, we're gonna go back into our Minecraft launcher right here. And then we are going to make sure that we are choosing the fabric loader. We don't want the normal 1.16. It should make a fabric loader 1.16 for you. So we're gonna click on that and we're just gonna go ahead and hit play. If you loaded everything incorrectly, if you did exactly as I instructed you, Minecraft should load up as normal. You can go ahead and go into a single player world. I'm just gonna choose this one, which is actually an upcoming video. So if you haven't seen this video yet, it probably hasn't released. And once you are in a world, the easiest way to decide or kind of see if you have installed world edit correctly is to slash slash wand and then a wooden pickaxe should populate in your inventory. And that's the easiest way to know if you installed it correctly. And then you should just be able to use world edit. You should be able to select some stuff here and there. You should be able to go ahead and copy it. And then you should be able to pay something. It really is that simple. Now, this video is not going to be an instruction on how to actually use the things that world that it has to offer. This is solely a video of how to install it for 1.16 because I know there's a lot of people out there that may have a little bit of trouble doing that. In myself, I used to have that trouble. So I wanted to make a video showing you how to. So that's where we're actually going to bring today's video to a wrap. If there's any other mods that you guys want me to show you how to install for fabric or 1.16, definitely let me know down below as well. If you want me to show you how to use world edit, I actually have already made a couple of videos. Now they are a little outdated for previous versions of world edit or previous versions of Minecraft, but they will give you the basic, I guess, processes or basic functions of world edit that if you don't know how to use them, those videos should be very helpful for you. I will leave them down in the description down below. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely show your support down below. And as always, guys, I love you. See you guys next time. Peace out.